guys I thought I'd just do a little video of my swim today and just talk about um, why I swim and, and why I started sort of open water swimming I haven't been outside now for a few years so I'm heading over to Beckles Lido um, so I originally started open water swimming in 2016 um, in an attempt to raise some money for the Stroke Association. I did the Great North Swim and I did the Great East Swim and I did the Manchester Dock to Dock Swim um, in Salford the first year. Then I got injured and I had a year's break and then um, I went back and did the 5K at the Great North Swim at Windermere 2018. And um, I actually haven't really swum since then. Um, I've been putting all my effort into work so yeah I'm heading off to Beckles Lido this morning for my first swim in a little while and I'm hoping that I'll be able to talk to you about the benefits of cold swimming and um, yeah hopefully it won't be too cold I think it's heated so it should be fine so I've just arrived at the pool um, thought I'd have a little chat about my sort of mental health journey before I get in the pool and then I can update you with how I feel afterwards. Um, so between the ages of sort of 17 and 21 I had quite a rough time uh, with relationships and things like that and I ended up uh, really struggling with depression and like having a breakdown. Um, I ended up on medication so I, I was sedated um, via the medication basically and um, I got put on a course of CBT uh, through the NHS which was really good and part of the CBT was to encourage me to do something every day um, and that's when I started to go into the gym. So I'm classified as having high functioning depression which I hate the word high functioning because um, basically because I can go to work I'm deemed as being okay um, so even if I'm suffering I will still get up and I'll still go to work um, it's very rare that I spend a day in bed um, being miserable um, or feeling depressed but um, yeah high functioning is not my favourite word because it doesn't mean I'm not suffering it just means that um, I go to work because it like, remains some sense of normality for me. Um, so yeah, part of the CBT was to get up and do something every day. And that's when I started to go to the gym. Um, I found a personal trainer and I trained with them once a week. If they're watching this, they'll know. Um, but yeah, it was really handy to have that PT. And I started to go to the gym a couple of times a week. And that's how I progressed into doing what I do now to help other people. Um, but yeah, the other part of that was when I started to open water swim, I realised that um, my brain was a lot clearer than it had ever been, um, probably because of the cold water. And starting to swim and train regularly in the pool and outside really helped me to um, keep focused. And yeah, I didn't really feel depressed at all during the years that I've been swimming and training and um, there is a lot of research actually that cold water therapy can help with anxiety because it initiates the same sort of feeling as a panic attack but it helps you uh, like your breathing you'll learn how to deal with a panic attack and things like that so yeah um, I've been feeling a bit fed up the last few weeks so I decided I better start swimming again um, give me something to aim for probably try and do a race or something next year um, but yeah, hopefully today will make me feel a bit better, even though the weather's awful and it's freezing cold, getting in some water should make me feel better. So I will update you once I've had a swim. Also a bit of a disclaimer, uh, when I started to open water swim, I had swum competitively until the age of 16 and, um, I was a qualified lifeguard, so I didn't just jump into a lake and start swimming. Um, obviously I was quite a strong swimmer to start with. Okay, I just finished swimming and um, got back in the van and I am freezing. Okay, so the water's warm, but um, obviously the weather is not warm. So 
because it's open air you just feel the cold the minute your arm comes above the water um, the showers are outside so you can't really have a good shower or anything like that so I literally just pull my costume off and chuck some clothes on and I'm gonna go home and shower now um, and try and warm up I'm probably gonna stop and get a coffee on the way too um, to help first thing I always do as soon as I've got out is put my big towel over me and then I put my hat on to try and keep as much heat in me as I possibly can and then um, yeah then I kind of get my bottoms on and my socks and my shoes to try and warm my feet up and then I can put a big jumper and my coats and everything like that on um, but yeah I did about a thousand meters which isn't very far um, but it was cold I haven't swum for ages and I didn't put my earplugs in so the cold water kept going in my ears and it makes me feel yucky so next time I'm definitely going to put my earplugs in um, but yeah the pool's really lovely and probably going to try and keep going I know they're going to turn the heating off soon though so we'll see how long I can manage um, but yeah the benefit of cold water swimming um, or cold water therapy like I said induces um, the feeling of a panic attack um, so you go <gasps> and you have to learn to control your breathing which is why it's really helpful for people that have anxiety so it teaches you to deep breathe and, and work through it um, and really when you're in the water all you're doing is thinking about um, staying up and swimming and obviously keep moving forward um, up and down and yeah just follow the black line basically and, and zone out I tend to count how many strokes I do or I really focus on watching my hand entry so it really just takes the pressure off everything else that's going on in my brain and then I can just focus solely on swimming um, I'll try and share a few little links with you or articles to read about um, cold water swimming and yeah definitely um, have a go if you're a strong swimmer wouldn't recommend it if you're a beginner um, or just learn to swim get your confidence and get your strength up in a, in a normal indoor pool before you start jumping outside um, I'm a strong swimmer and I don't have any fear of the water so I'm quite lucky there but yeah um, hopefully I'll have a nice Sunday the weather's rubbish so it looks like I'll probably just do some housework and um, hide inside so yeah have a lovely day see you later